Raise the pain like I'm Nagato Got no father like I'm Naruto Keep the blade on me, Ichigo Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo Diamonds whipping up on the stove Lucky man like a four-leaf glow Diamonds wanna go Hello guys, this is Nagato and welcome back to my channel For today's tutorial, I'm basically gonna be showcasing on how to take some PSP games and convert them as PlayStation 3 PKG or PSP remaster files so you can play them on your modded PS3. I'm not too sure if this method does work with Han. I did did some research on it before I recorded this video and I think you can but I'm not too sure but the method I'm going to be showing you is just a classic uh, custom firmware method. As I like to state in all my videos I want to get into the prerequisites so things what you need you need of course a jailbroken or you know modded PlayStation 3 um, that's on custom firmware I'm using rebug 4.80 4.2 that's on Kex and this is PS3 slim this does work on uh, PS3 fats as well and it does work on Kex index so it really doesn't matter if you want Kex index for this method also you need a game that is compatible for uh, this method right here and the day or the game we're going to be using today is Ridge Racer 2 you also need this file right here, emucr psp2 ps3, or excuse me, ps3 version 2.1.2 from Kex. I'll have a link in the description for any tools and downloads I'll be using for today, and this video will be in the description below. But you'll need this as well, and it's just you have to extract this with WinWar. I have a download for WinWar as well, and you should get this folder on your desktop right here. And also, you'll need a USB flash drive that is formatted to FAT32. So once the ISO has been rebuilt as a PSP remaster, we could put it onto our um, USB and then transfer it over to a PS3 and install it as a package file. But before we even get into the nitty gritty stuff in this tutorial, what we're gonna I'm gonna be talking about is the compatibility list. So if I scroll up here real quick, if you go to this website right here, I'll have a link in the description below as well to get to this website. I'm gonna tell you which games works for the PlayStation 3 and which game does not work. And sometimes, um, for example, 007 from Russia with Love is just strictly unplayable. And it'll like from the devs who tested out these games. Um, it'll tell you if it has like a black screen, um, if like the game runs very slow, it has freezes, there's many bugs, or it works with major tech, or it works but it's missing textures and stuff like that. Um, but if y'all guys are you know experts in knowing how to patch some PSP games and making them run on PS3 and doing like manual patching, you could possibly get some of these games to you know work at you know a decent rate. But with that being said, the game we're going to be testing today, if I go to Control F and then type in Ridge Racer 2, it states that uh, both versions are playable. So the Japanese version and I'm using the European version. So once you find your game from this uh, list right here, just go ahead, download it from wherever, put it to your PC. And then what you want to do now is once you have this folder extracted, go ahead and open this folder right here. And then what you want to do is go ahead and drag your ISO file into the ps3 underscore mini dot exe and what it should do is basically create an icon zero png and basically state the game um this is not the demo to this game this is the actual game just sometimes um we're creating the param.sfo and a title id or the param.hip it may just add like it's you know original state in the name which is fine I think also you could change it as well. Yeah, if you click over here, you could change it as well. So if you don't want to say demo, but in this case, I really don't care for it. And now what you want to do is go ahead and save as, if you right click over it, uh, the PNG. Let me see. Yeah, so if you hit enter right here, and then basically once you hit enter, uh, once you get all your stuff done, it'll basically convert the PSP image to a PSP remaster for your PS3. So this process may take a little while as shown here. So I'm basically gonna be pausing the video right here. And then once that's done, we're gonna get our PKG file. Then I'm gonna showcase on how to install it on your PS3. So I'll meet you back once this process is done. 
all right guys so the process has been finished as shown here if i go to my ps3 mini uh chat log or basically the um package log right here it tells you you know the title id it tells you the k license it's drm free of course um it tells you that basically all the raw data has been packed into this pkg as well the param.hip user directories such and such like that but once um it's done basically a directory should pop up and basically it should pop up onto your uh, desktop right now it should create a package file as shown here so as you see here it says psp to ps3 ridge racer 2 it tells you my content id it's a remastered pkg so basically we have our full-fledged game converted from an iso to a pkg what we want to do now is take our pkg file that we just created and now plug in our usb drive and then from here once we plug in our USB drive, I'll make sure that it's form formatted to FAT32. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So here's my uh, USB drive, excuse me, right here. And now if I go ahead and right click over it, go to properties, and then from here, as you see file system should state it's FAT32. That means you get to go and can transfer over the file. But let's say if your file system doesn't state that it's on FAT32 and it says it's on XFAT or NCFS, don't worry, I got you. So what we need to do is right click over it, go to format again. And then from here to file systems, if it says NTFS or XFAT like that, go ahead and just click the FAT32 one. For allocation unit size, you can either do default allocation size or whatever your PC states. Just go ahead and hit default allocation size. It's not going to do anything damaging. And then for volume label, um, you can rename it anything. The only reason why I have mine in capitalized letters that says state Sony because I was trying to uh, mod the PlayStation Classic and that was one of the steps. But you can name it anything. And then you can go ahead and hit quick format. Make sure to have this toggled on. Go ahead and hit start. And then before you hit OK, guys, um, if you do have any, you know, s files that you want to back up and or import in documents or games or whatever like that, go ahead and back it up to your PC first because if you don't, um, it's going to wipe your drive clean. Unless you want to, you know, have a clean drive and you just got a new USB, then do it. Um, do the method and just go ahead and hit OK. But assuming that y'all guys are on FAT32 now, what you want to do is, is go ahead and go out to B go ahead and go to results here and then just drag and drop your game into your USB flash drive so once your USB or basically once it's done copying the game of your choice to your USB flash drive what we're going to do now is go to our PlayStation 3's and I'm going to show you guys how to install a package excuse me the package file and then from there we're going to go ahead and boot up the game so I'm just going to go ahead and straight to the PS3 and then show you that process so I'll meet you guys there. All right guys, as shown here, we're back on the PlayStation 3. What we wanna do now is go ahead and plug in your USB with the game of your choice that's in it. And now what you wanna do is go ahead and go into Package Manager, go to the second option called Install Package Files. And then from there, go to the third option, Standard. And then go ahead and find the game on your, basically your USB. In this case, mine is Ridge Racer. It may take a little while for me since the game is like 1.4 gigs so I'm gonna pause the video right here and then once it's done I'm gonna go ahead and show you that the game is on my X and B and how it looks and then I'm gonna boot the game in real time and then I'm gonna play a little bit through it just to show you that this game you know fully works and this process is very easy to do so I'll meet you guys back once this uh, PKG has installed all right guys so as shown here my Ridge Racer 2 game has been installed now what we want to do is just go ahead and run it so as you see here um in the little like right hand corner under like the little psp thing it says psp remaster um and then it shows like the icon zero png as well so what we're going to do now is just go ahead and run the game so as shown here in real time basically here is ridge racer 2 and then let me go ahead and back out to the XMB so you guys can see that it is running on you know PS3 software so that's it right here if I were to hit the select button right here so basically you can play you know PSP games in 1080p technically which is pretty cool you know I wish you know games like Kingdom Hearts and um, some other uh, games you know may work I'm just gonna head and hit that right now but I like to proceed 
I know uh, from the games I've tested, I've tested Need for Speed Carbon. I've also tested um, Rengen Midnight, which is a Japanese uh, little like Shogun Boogie uh, racing game. And I know that works. So a couple of games, I'm, I think one of the like Namco like little arcade museum games work as well from like Japan. Cause I know with that a little uh, site I showed you, it only really showcased uh, many of like the European and US versions, not really many of the Japanese games. But as you see here, um, the game is running in real time. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. Uh, please be sure if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment them below. If you just want to subscribe to my channel, I really do appreciate it because I have a bunch of content for a multitude of systems on how to, you know, mod your PlayStation Classic from your PS4 to your PS3. Uh, sooner or later, I'm thinking about getting a PlayStation 2. I already have a PS2 that's modded, but I think I want to get another one as well so I can show you guys a little bit more on how to soft mod it how to add games on the ps2 so stay tuned for my channel i have a lot of plans in the work uh, but with that being said my name is nagato and i'm signing out thank you guys for watching